Arkansas governor signs law relaxing child labor protections. Did did you work when you were a teenager? Like when we, when was yes. your when was your first job? I had a paper route when I was probably 12, 13 years old. That's that's an appropriate job. I mean, yeah, I mean and you know, hand to god, I had the job. I really did, but after about the first two days of walking that route, my parents ended up uh, driving me to deliver the papers at four o'clock every morning for about six months. So, I mean, like, I wouldn't even call that child labor. You know, just saying. It seems a, a little counterproductive. It seems like they had a part-time job and, and you were just getting, you were helping with it. I, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Now let's, again, we're going to fully disclose the absolute 100% truth about this, okay? I had the paper route. I did not have the paycheck. Okay. Okay. Like, my parents my parents were like, well, you know, we'll play ball, but if you want to, like, it was my, it was my, honest to, honest to God, it was my first real taste of, of kind of the time value of money. Like, you know, that's why I only kept the paper route for six months. I'd probably only end up with like maybe five dollars. And I had to do all the work except for the driving. Mm-hmm. And and I was like, mm, no, you know, my parents didn't do that shit for free. And I don't I, I'm glad they didn't. You know, it's a little off topic. I'm sorry about that. But, you know, it was a, it was a valuable lesson at 13 years old. You know, oh. if you you can't expect shit for free. When but I, that's what I got out of my childhood labor experience. I be, I can't remember if I was 15 or 16. I got my first gig at a, at one of the Golden Arches and uh I was, you know, trying to get a car, that kind of stuff. Uh but I I've seen all these reports coming out lately of these companies using children in factories because they have small hands and they can reach into places. Uh very very illegal. Uh, but apparently not in Arkansas. As Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders has loosened child labor laws in the states, making it easier for workplaces to employ minors without strict regulations. <laughs> like part of the thing, I, I couldn't work past a certain time. I, I had to be out because of school. I, I couldn't... Um, it was different on the weekends, but on school nights, it, it was all these different... It, it was very, very specific. When and I couldn't work in the kitchen. I could only work out front. Um... I couldn't work with machines. Or I couldn't work with, with the, you know, it was, it was very, very regulated. And that was back in what the early, the late night, uh, 1990s, early two thousands. Yeah, dude, that was back in the 20th, man. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean, like we're talking, we're talking 20th century job market and they had those strict regulations on, regulations on it. Anyhow, back to the article. The new law dubbed the Youth Hiring Act of 2023 allows workplaces in the to hire children under the age of 16 without obtaining permission from the Department of Labor. Previously, minors under 16 needed employment certifications to verify their age, uh, describe the work they do, and include parental or guardian consent. <clears throat> Sorry, I had to cough there. The Republican governor has attempted to spin the law as removing a burden from parents who are sending their children to work. The Arkansas law could only make child labor violations increase, uh, critics have said. Uh, Andrew Collins, a Democratic state representative, slammed the bill for increasing the, quote, risk that there will be abuses and violations of other child labor laws, end quote, by removing the need for parental consent. Since 2018, there have been a whopping 69% increase in the number of illegally employed children by companies, the the Department of Labor has found. In the last month, more than 3,800 children were working in jobs that violate federal law. Just because there's a shortage of workers doesn't mean you can turn your back on almost 100 years of child labor uh, and start hiring kids, especially for dangerous jobs from which they see happening increasingly in the country. Uh, Reed Mackey, Director of Child Labor Advocacy at the Northern Consumer League. This just seems like a horrible idea. Yeah. I, I got an idea. We don't want to we don't want to like pay people a decent wage. So um, we're going to pay them shit. Well, they won't apply for the jobs. What do you mean they won't apply for the jobs? They have to work. Well, they're not. 
So let's, let's hire kids that we can pay them less. That's what's doing. That is literally what the f- is happening here. They are just hiring children so that they can, so that they can pay them less money. There's no other reasoning behind it. And it, and the, it absolutely disgusts me. It disgusts me. I I gotta find it. I gotta tell you, I find it pretty vexing myself. I and have pretty insulting too. I have two children, pretty insulting too. And, and 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 just very recently, we have told both our kids, don't even ask about getting a job. Don't even freaking ask. While you're in high school, no sir. Once they turn seventeen, eighteen, if they want to get a part time gig, I'll entertain it. But no, you you are not getting a job. You are going to focus on school and you are, you you know, we'll we'll take care of what you need. You're not going to ruin your, your, your school time and your youth working. Once you start working, that's it. That's it. You're, you're, that's, you're, you're a slave to a slave to your job the rest of your Uh, life. mm -hmm. You don't need that as a child. I, uh, I, uh, I really like that um, that mentality and that philosophy. I, I I applaud you on that. And you know what I I gotta say, my parents they allowed me to get a paper route. They allowed it. And you know, after I did it, I'm the oldest boy in my family. After I did that silly shit, that was like their alpha test, and it fucking flopped. They never let any of my other brothers or sisters. You know, my sisters got jobs when they were 17, you know, except for my oldest. It doesn't matter. The fact of the matter is there was no child labor laws. Well, there there was. Okay, not being broken. Correct. Not being broken. And and here's the thing, like with a paper route, that's 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 kind of like that is a kid's job. That's that's kind right. of, that's almost like a rite of passage. As it used to be. Anymore, when you see people delivering newspapers, you see um, some neckbeard doing it in a Ford Corolla or a Chevy. Whatever, what's a Corolla? Toyota. A Toyota Corolla uh, Toyota. with with a suspension forked in it and just driving around and winging them on people's porches, never even getting out of the car. Um, or you see the fancy guy, the fancy guy who puts hand controls in his car and drives it from the passenger seat. I've seen that. Those dudes, that's like legit. That's that's a paper. That is a paper delivery specialist. Is that, is that, is that, that's what he puts on the resume. I, <laughs> um, no, that's what I'm. That's the title I'm giving him. Correspondence, I mean, like, correspondence delivery specialists. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I saw a dude. No lie, here in the town where I live, and uh, I was driving home from a doctor's appointment. He had a uh, a bumper like a decal. Uh, it said paper delivery on it. He had little flashing. He had his hazard lights on, and uh, and he was driving his car from the passenger seat and uh, steering it like this, just driving on the shoulder, delivering papers. It's... I thought that was I thought that was pretty hip. I really did. I just you know, you know, there there's certain things that might happen in your life that necessitate you getting that type of job. But I, I, I really do think that that kind of job should be a kid's job. You know, that, that's a way. I, I agree. My son, my oldest, uh, as soon as I realized he was big enough to push the lawnmower, he got the responsibility of mowing the grass. And, you know, it, we, we pay them. You know, it's not, not, a, not, a, not a king's ransom or anything, but he gets paid to do it. And I told him, you know, it's like, if you want to use the lawnmower and you want to go around to the neighbors and say, you'll cut their grass for 30, 40 bucks. You can do that. You want to start your own little lawn landscaping business. That's fine. But if you make a commitment to somebody, you have to follow through with it. And he's like, I don't like mowing our lawn. (laughs) And he's like, I don't like mowing our lawn. I do it because you tell me I have to (laughs) I go. Okay. You still have to, but if you (laughs) change your mind, the lawnmower's in the garage. Uh, and, And that's fine. There's um, nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. So I, I, he does have that option, but I don't think he's ever going to take it because, you know, I don't I, due to a, I, I, okay. I don't sweat. I don't sweat like a normal person. I just don't. Um. So I don't deal with heat very well. So like this time of year, uh, it, it's April. I'm sorry, it's March right now, and in the fall I'm fine, but in the summertime, 
Mm -mm. Especially here in the Midwest when temperatures are over 100 every day. And I, I just don't. I, I, my, so Sadar has d mowed the lawn for years. And uh, she's getting quite tired of it. And we tell people, that's why we had kids. <laughs> you know what, though? At, yeah, I, I remember after my second child was born, uh, my ex and I had a pit bull in a very small yard. And where do you think he went to the bathroom? Who do you think had to clean up the dog dirt? That's my youngest son. No, that's my youngest son's job. <laughs> well, no no lie. After my after my second kid was born, I didn't have fucking time for that, man. I'm I was I was a Mr. Mom. And so I went two doors up. The guy the guy who lived two doors up from me, I looked at him and I was like, Listen, man, is it okay if I ask your kid if he'd be okay, you know, help me clean up the dog dirt in my yard once a week and uh I'll give him twenty, thirty bucks? And the guy looked at me, and he's like, yeah, yeah. I looked at the kid. The kid was like, are you serious? He's like, do you have, like, a scooper? And I said, no, I do not. I put on latex gloves, and I just pick it up and throw it in a bag. He goes, that's even better. He, he was, yeah. He's like, I don't have to. He, well, I mean, like, apparently this wasn't his first rodeo. Like he knew he he knew all about dog dirt disposal. Why do you think I call it dog dirt? That's what he called it. I want it dog That's, dirt. That, <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? I mean, like a twelve year old kid telling me a new word for dog shit. I was like, yeah, you're fucking hired, kid. Let's do it. One thing that really irritated me. We moved to where we're at now. We're in a subdivision, and uh, there's a Facebook group. For, for this subdivision. And it, mostly it's devolved into everyone, I lost my dog, or there's a dog in my yard, whose dog is this? That's what it's devolved into at this point. But, you know, when, when after the first time we mowed this yard, we're like, this sucks. Uh, let's put a, put a call out, you know, bop, 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 bop. looking for a neighborhood kid, mow my lawn. And uh, I got an instant from a, from a mother. She's saying, my son would be glad to do it. And I go, okay, does he want to come by, take a look at the yard, and let me know how much he wants to do it? He'll do it for 30 bucks. I'm like, okay. Um, all right, let's do that. Or she said 20. It, it was a ridiculously low amount. So the kid got here, and I'm like, and I showed him what I wanted done. He's like, okay, and he did it. And I went out there, you know, took him water, and, I'm, and I said, listen, you know, this is not a twenty dollar job, and his you could just see his face sink. He 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 thought he was getting like reprimanded for not working hard enough. I said, I'm going to give you, uh, I'm going to pay you forty because it's a pretty pretty big job. <laughs> and he's like, right. Yeah, I was I was thinking of saying something. My mom already promised. I'm like, Don't worry about that. You you can even tell your mom I paid you twenty. I don't care, but I'm giving you forty. <laughs> you know, um, and yeah. unfortunately, the kid ended up. Uh, petering out on me more th more often than not, and no showing, and then um, eventually I just he just ghosted me. So I'm like, all right, well, and then I learned my son could do it, so we just did that. And then that little shit had the nerve to show up here uh, at the beginning of last year and say, yeah, I was hoping I could come back and do that again. I'm like, yeah, you can keep hoping, kid. I'm sorry, you ghosted me. And he's like, well, yeah. Yeah, I had a better offer. I'm like, and you could have said, listen, I'm not interested in doing this anymore. But, you know, lesson learned. And he tried He tried making a sign and going around, and, and he, nobody in the neighborhood would touch him because they knew what happened here. And I, I kind of feel bad, but at the same time, it, it was like a lesson learned for him. And hopefully he takes it as a life lesson. Um, And I pay my kid less. So, <laughs> You know what? I mean, like, you know what? I started off by saying, you know, my first my paper out was a life lesson to me. It was not all it was not all cookies and cream. You know, I, I would much rather pay a neighbor kid before I would pay a, a lawn service. And that's the thing, like the lawn services, they're, they're the first people I call because I figured, OK, they're professionals. But they wanted like over a hundred dollars every week for my yard. I'm like, uh, no, <laughs> I'd rather pay a neighbor kid. You know, the the neighborhood kid that wants to make some money. And this kid was like si like 15 or 16. He was saving up for a car. I'm like, this is perfect. You know, I have, this is perfect. And then he, he like I said, he, I think he got enough for his car. And then that was it. He was like, done. He just ghosted. But 